adaptations for cross pollination list the advantages and disadvantages of cross pollination flowers have a unique ability to attract insects with their fragrance beauty and color look at the meadow with a beautiful medley of flowers oh and also take a look at the honeycomb nest on the tree nearby a male bee is getting ready to start its work for the day <laughs> i can see a lot of flower blossoms i guess i'm in for a great treat today wow the nectar is so sweet and delicious but i'm not full yet let me try another flower oh oh I've got some dirt on my wings. It is also stuck to my legs and spiracle. Let me clean up the mess first. Mm, what an amazing day it is. I have had a good feast of satiating nectar. Let me go and share the experience with my friends. You must have observed while watching the video that when the bee moved from the first flower to the second it had also carried some dirt that was stuck on its body factually the dirt is nothing but the pollen of the first flower in this case the bee served as a transporter in carrying the pollen grains from the male flower that is x to the female flower that is y the role of the bee ends here now The female flower carries out its regular process of reproduction. The new seed germinating from the female flower possesses the characteristics of both the X and Y flowers. This process is known as cross-pollination. In this lesson, let us learn cross-pollination in detail. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant. it leads to genetic variations and is also known as allogamy the key transfer agencies are air water insects and birds adaptations for cross pollinations the structure of a flower determines the type of pollination in certain flowers the paths are arranged in such a way that permits the occurrence of cross pollination Some of the adaptations of flowers that favor cross pollination are unisexuality, dichogamy, heterostyly, self sterility. Unisexuality is a condition wherein the male flower and the female flower may be present in the same plant, that is monoecious, or in different plants, that is dioecious. Cross pollination occurs easily in dioecious plants. Examples of unisexuality are papaya, watermelon and date palm. Dichogamy. In some of the bisexual flowers, although the male and female parts are present in the same flower, self-pollination is hindered. This is because the anther and stigma mature at different times. In such a case, fertilization occurs only through cross-pollination. Dichogamy is of two types. protogyny and protandry protogyny refers to the condition of bisexual flowers where the carpel matures before the stamens by the time the stamens get matured the carpels are already dead hence self pollination is never possible reproduction occurs only through cross pollination avocado flower fall under this category protandry refers to the condition of bisexual flower where the stamens mature before the carpels by the time the carpels get matured the stamens are already dead hence the flowers can reproduce only through cross pollination examples include sunflower and marigold heterostyly in some bisexual plants there exists a difference in the length of the style and filament that is long filament and short style or short filament and long style hence these type of plants depend on cross pollination for reproduction this type of adaptation can be seen in primrose self sterility is a condition 
wherein a flower fails to germinate, the pollen grains which falls on the stigma of the same flower. However, when these pollens are carried to other flowers, germination occurs through cross-pollination. Examples of plants exhibiting self-sterility are grasses and orchids, agencies of cross-pollination. Several agencies are responsible for the occurrence of cross-pollination, but some of the common agencies are wind, water and insects. Let us discuss each cross-pollination in detail. Wind pollination or anemophily, water pollination or hydrophily, insect pollination or entomophily. Wind pollination, in this type of pollination, the pollens of the male flower may be carried hundreds of kilometers away by wind. During the travel, the pollen grains that come in contact with the stigma of a female flower undergo fertilization. The sad note is that majority of pollens get wasted by this mode of transfer. Examples include palm, dead palm, maize, walnut, oat, grasses, wheat, rice, rye, barley, etc. Characteristics of wind-pollinated flowers Approximately 20% of cross-pollination occurs through the wind. The flowers of wind-pollinated plants are unscented, drab, small and inconspicuous. The anther and stigma of these flowers project outwards for easy exposure to wind. The male flowers produce huge quantities of pollen owing to the wastage caused by wind. Water pollination In this type of pollination, pollens are drifted by water until they come in contact with the female flowers. It usually occurs in pond weeds and water weeds. Most often, the pollens float on the surface of water and in rare cases, they travel underneath. Examples include Valisneria and Hydrilla. Characteristic of water pollinated flowers Water pollinated plants generally possess small, inconspicuous male flowers which release more pollen grains into water. The male flower after maturation detaches from the plant and floats above the water. Usually, the female flowers have long stalks. The stigma are long and feathery for catching the pollens. Insect pollination As discussed in the introduction, insects help the plants to cross-pollinate. In this type of pollination, both the plant and insect are mutually benefited. Moreover, pollen wastage is less in this type of pollination. Characteristics of insect pollinated flowers The flowers are big and bright colored to attract the insects. The pollen grains are large and sticky to attach to insect parts. Flowers are scented and filled with nectar to feed the insects. The petals of some flowers may have spots or lines to help the insects in reaching the nectar. Stigmas are basically neither feathery nor protruding outwards. They are mostly sticky to retain the pollens settling on them. Let us now discuss the advantages of cross-pollination. Genetic recombination in cross-pollinated flowers produces new varieties of plants. The quality of seeds produced through cross-pollination is comparatively better than self-pollinated seeds. Cross-pollinated plants exhibits a better adaptation to the surrounding environment. Crop yield can be maintained without significant decreases. Offspring of cross-pollinated plants express better vigor and resistance. Disadvantages of cross-pollination are Reproduction is solely dependent on external agencies. More wastage of pollen grains when compared to self-pollination. The wasted pollen grains cause allergies to humans. There are possibilities of inducing some unwanted traits in the progeny. Summary Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the male flower to the female flower. Cross-pollination allows genetic variations in plants. Cross-pollinated plants show better adaptation to the changing environment.